Verse 10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the Nabi Sheker are, and they shall be tormented day and night forever, lay alone by it. Now, the, the lake of fire is a synonym for a place of what? Destruction. That's why, through a Western mindset, there are a lot of people who are confused. Because in one place, perdition is called darkness, outer darkness. In another place, perdition is called the lake of fire. So which one is it? If there's fire, it's not dark. You follow me? You see why you have to understand the word of Yahweh through Hebraic lenses? In one place, perdition is called fire, light. In another place, it's called outer darkness. How do we reconcile these two? It's very simple. Lake of fire and out of darkness are both metaphors for the place of destruction. Amen? When they're in, 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 in away from Yahweh's presence, there's darkness and torment. Fire being symbolic of torment. You're, in, you're away from his light, that's darkness, and you're away from his presence, that's the fire of torment. That's how you reconcile Gehenom as a place of both fire and darkness. You can't have both. Gehenom and the lake of fire can't be fire and darkness. But they are both, if you understand it, through what? Hebraic lenses. They are both metaphors for places that are places of destruction away from the presence of God. Have fun? Simple, right? Next week, we're going to go deep. I'm going to do a lot of wows from beginning to end. But it was good to get an understanding. These are just a few. And uh, it sure prevents a lot of that religious stuff where people run around, they cut themselves, they maim themselves, they harm themselves, because they literally believe if your eye offends you, cut it out. If your hand offends you, if you're stealing, cut it out. If you get caught um, going somewhere you shouldn't go, cut off your leg. And isn't that exactly what Islam does? Isn't that exactly what they teach? They, they take this, these things literally instead of Yahweh seeing it through the way Yahweh shared it. Father, we thank you for your word to us today. We thank you for the Hebraic lenses that you have commanded us to put on. Uh, we thank you for the word to give understanding. And that some of these scriptures have brought to life that there is a very, very basic understanding without which we cannot even begin to study and to understand the word of Yahweh. And so, Father, we thank you that these understandings have blessed and provided for the nourishment of your people, Yisrael, in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. One more thing Yahweh wants me to tell you. Not in your notes. Prushim saw the sign, remember? And they ran to Pilate, and what did they say? Take down that sign, remember? Why? It was just a silly old sign. Why did they go crazy when they saw that sign? Said, Take down that sign, no, 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 no. Why, why did they go crazy? But again, if you do not put on the Hebraic lenses, you'll never know, not in a million years, they were right to be freaked out about that sign. Ready? We have it in the Restoration Scriptures, True Name Edition. In Hebrew, acronyms had hidden meaning. So, the title upon on the cross said the following. Yeshua HaNotsri VeMelech HaYehudi. Yeshua HaNotsri VeMelech HaYehudi. Yeshua of Nazareth and King of the Jews. The acronym being Yud, Hey. Bob, hey, Yahweh. That sign hanging over Yeshua was literally identifying him as Yahweh. And when the Jews saw it, they went crazy. They said, take down that sign. Not only is he not the Messiah, not only is he not the king of Israel, he is certainly not Yahweh. And so that's why they said, take down that sign. And Pilate said, sorry, what I have written, I have written. He was a pagan, but Yahweh was using that pagan to make a sign because in Romans 1, uh, 122, Romeo 122, it says, the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. Yahweh gave them a sign. Wow. Not just a spiritual sign, but a literal sign, and they wanted to take down the sign. <laughs> wow. 
But you can only see that through Hebraic lenses. If you see that through a Greco-Roman Western mindset, it reads Jesus, Rexus, ba 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 in Latin. But in Hebrew, it was Yud, Hey, Vav, Hey, Yahweh, and the Jews said, take down that sign, and Yahweh said, look guys, I'm not doing this to agitate you. In Romeo 123, it says, for we preach, the, God, the preaching of the Bishorah is foolishness to, to, the, to the Yehudim, seek, the Greeks seek wisdom, and the Yehudim seek a sign. Yahweh gave them a sign. Did it do any good? No. They wanted to take down the sign. So how do we know it said Yahweh? How do we know that on the tree of sacrifice was the fact that he was Yahweh? How do we know? Because we know it through Hebraic lenses. We love you. Let's see.